Today, we're going to talk about how to use annotations in Camtasia to create visual interest for your videos. If you click on the annotations item in the left hand menu, you will see that there are several options. You have your callouts, arrows and lines, shapes, special tools like blur and highlight, sketch motions, and keystroke callouts. So let's start at the beginning and look at callouts. When you first get to the annotations menu, the callouts are going to default to the basic choices. If you click on the drop down, you can select all, and this gives us an idea of everything that we can use. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the annotations and pretend to create a video on why Camtasia is my favorite editing software. Let's start by recreating the callout that you just saw on the screen. There are a couple ways that you can do it, but the easiest way is to grab the colored square that already has a text box included with it. Then all you have to do is drop it on your canvas and resize it. Then we're just going to type in our message. Now what I can do is highlight the text and then go all the way over to the right hand side of the screen into the properties pane and I can change the size of the font if I want to make it bigger. From the properties pane, you can switch from the text properties to the annotation properties, and you will have the choice to change the color of the box for the callout. Now, if I click on this dropdown, you can see that I can choose some standard colors, or I can go in and use the color picker tool and select a color from the image. Now that I've tested a few colors, I'm actually quite happy with the blue color, so I'm going to switch it back because I think that it contrasts to the yellow quite nicely. If you find an annotation that you like and you want to use it frequently, you can hover over it and click on the star that appears to add it to your favorites collection. This can significantly speed up your editing process because you can quickly find the things that you use most often instead of scrolling through a bunch of menus. Let's go back to the annotations page and notice that you have several other options that you can use and this can help you create a little more visual interest by changing up the types of annotations you use. So as I scrub through my footage, I might want to call out that this is where you can go to get a free trial. This time, I think I will use this purple callout box. This one's a nice option because I can drag the handle and make the callout bubble point to something specific on the screen. Now all I have to do is type in my text and say something like, click here to find a free trial. As you type, the text in the callout bubble will get smaller. To give it some more space, you can make the callout bubble bigger and then the text will be easier to read. Let's go back to the annotations menu item and select arrows and lines. You don't always have to add text to your screen. Maybe you just want to have an arrow that points towards something. So I'm going to grab this red arrow and have it point towards the words learn more. The thing that I like about the arrows is they're very easy to adjust by simply grabbing the handles and moving them around a little bit. Like this one, I've put on an angle. Now, if we go back to the properties pane, you can also adjust the thickness of the arrow to size it up a little bit and make it easier for your viewers to see. So here I've jumped this arrow up all the way to a 25. Next, in our fake video, we're going to pretend like we want to show someone how to sign in once they've created an account for their free trial. So in this example, there's an email address in the field, and maybe I don't want it to be included in the demonstration. I can still create my tutorial, but now I will go to the blur and highlight option and select blur and then drag and drop the blur frame over the email address so that it's not showing in the video. You can also use Pixelate to obscure information on the screen. The flip side of that is you can use Spotlight and Highlight to call out information on your screen. The next option we have is the Sketch Motion Callouts, which you have seen all throughout this video. 
Every time you see a red box drawing itself on the screen, that is my sketch call out. So you will drag and drop the call out onto the screen and then use the handles to adjust the size of the sketch and then drag the playhead across the timeline so that you can get a preview of what it will look like. Although the square is my favorite, there are several others that you can choose from. For example, you can grab the arrow and then drag and drop that onto the canvas to make it point towards the download a free trial button. The last annotation we're going to look at is keystroke callouts. So this is really useful when you want to have a visual indication for your viewers of what you're typing on your keyboard. Once I place the box on the screen, I can go to the properties pane on the right hand side in the keys box. I will type whatever the call out is and that will update the call out box on the screen. As you can see in the annotations menu, there are several options that you can use to add visual interest to your videos. I leave it to you to scroll through and find the ones that you think you will like the most. Drop me a comment below and tell me which one is your favorite. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.